Hello, in this video I'm going to be upgrading one of my rigs to this server power supply here. It's the HP DPS 1200 SPA. Basically it's a 94% efficient uh, Platinum Plus power supply here. You can see the 94% symbol there on the bottom. So we're going to be upgrading to this power supply. We are going to be running this rig at 120 volt, so it's not going to be ideal at 240 but this will make a big difference in terms of heat on the actual connections because currently, if I bring you over here, currently we have our rig using both ATX power supplies. So I'm gonna be replacing one of them because these connections here, I can feel that the touch are pretty warm. So I'm gonna be replacing probably for about four to five of the cards. We're gonna be putting on the server PSU and then we're gonna leave the main power supply which powers the motherboard and uh, I guess a couple of the GPUs on the ATX power supply so it'll be a mix of both and hopefully this will help minimize any risks of fires which is a risk when mining and that's the main reason we're going to be switching to the server power supply. This here is the main adapter that I want to avoid using you can see it's a SATA to 6 pin adapter and if you look closely here for the 12 volt line which is just to the right side here those are very small pins they cannot hold a lot of current so this is where you risk overheating that SATA connection and potentially causing fires and that's where when we're using a 6 pin to 6 pin PCIe that means that 12 volt rail is going across three 18 gauge wires even on the GPUs that uh, that are going to be on that one ATX power supply we're keeping I'm still going to be replacing these SATA connections with actual PCIe connectors because as we just mentioned these can be a fire risk, especially if we switch over to something like Ravencoin. So we're just getting ourselves ready so that our rig can run fully stable for the rest of the summer and we don't have to worry about any fire risks. All right, so what I was able to do here was put three of the GPUs on that 1850 watt PSU and all of them are connected using PCIe cables. This is what it looks like now that everything is plugged in for the PCIe cables into the HP power supply also. Fun note here, this here is an Asus Strix RX570. I just want to show you how bad the cooling fins are. It's such a small design here. Uh, it really it really does not do a good job. So the fans died on this model and I had to replace them with two computer fans. All right, so now to turn this on, all I'm gonna have to do is first power on the HP power supply. So now that's on, you can see the green light there. And I have to make my way power on our ATX power supply. So I'm just gonna flip the switch there. So basically when there's power, the system turns on and all the cards are running. Now, of course, I'm gonna have to go into Hive OS, check, make sure everything boots on properly. Uh, but now with the way we have it set up, all of our GPUs have PCIe connectors to feed both the breakout board and the GPU. So this is gonna be a lot safer, especially now that it is a lot hotter here where I am mining. It's upwards of 32 degrees inside and it can get up to as hot as 36 inside here. And while the system boots up because one of the fans I have connected to the card and one's connected to the motherboard, it's gonna take a little bit of time, but this will come on, don't worry. And you can see all the PCIe connectors here and this should work a lot better. And you can see here from my other rigs, I do have a 240 volt PDU there. It is a 20 amp circuit and we have 13 amps on it currently and that's about as much as I'm willing to put on that circuit. So I don't plan on actually loading it anymore. And yeah, that's the end of my video. All I wanted to really talk about is I replace an ATX power supply for one of these HP server power supplies, specifically the 94% plus version because you wanna have the most efficient power supplies and at the same time, you wanna make sure you have all PCIe connectors feeding your GPUs to prevent any fires. If you have any questions, you're more than welcome to reach out in the comment section below.